I'm going to show you how you can link tables and charts to Excel using Engage and in a way that makes these tables and charts flexible. So by that I mean if the number of records in your Excel document increases, then the rows in this table will also increase automatically. Same idea with the charts. So let's go ahead and make sure that you have the Engage tab selected. Click on the Automate button, then we're going to select Excel Shape Link. And let's go ahead and create this link. So we're going to click this Create a Link button. I'm going to select first the data table. I'm going to click Link Selected Shape. And then I'm going to click on Browse. And then over here, I'm just going to link to this Excel spreadsheet. So this will open up the spreadsheet. What you would normally do is you would select this range for this data table. But because I know that I might over time have more projects here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a range with the three columns, but I'm going to go all the way to 10 rows. So I'm going to select this range. And then I'm going to do the same for the chart. I'm going to click create a link. I'm going to select this chart, link selected shape, open up that spreadsheet. And uh, same idea over here. In this case, we have five rows of data for four projects, one series. But I'm going to go ahead and select um, 10 rows of data. I could also select an extra column if I think that I might need uh, another, a second series of data. Uh, but for now, I'll just go ahead and select uh, the 10 rows over here and select this. Okay, so now I'm linked up. And what you see is exactly what's in the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, let's go to the Excel spreadsheet and add a couple more records to see what happens. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select a few more projects. So let's go ahead and add this here. And same idea on this side for the chart. I might go to seven projects. Okay, so let's go back to uh, PowerPoint. And let's reload the values and see what happens. So as you can see, it automatically adjusted this table and then this chart based on the number of records we had. So if we go back and make another adjustment, this time let's go the other way and remove some of the uh, records here. So let's go ahead and remove perhaps this fourth record and let's remove these two projects. So when I come back here and I reload values, what you should see is this data table should automatically remove one row of data. And then on this uh, chart, we should see um, the removal of those two extra projects. So there we go. So you see how the data tables and the charts are now flexible. So this is how you link up data tables and charts using Engage.